Hello, my name is Markus Thoma. I'm from the University Gießen, that's north of Frankfurt. I'm a professor for plasma physics and space science, and I'm working on so-called dusty plasmas. Dusty plasmas are plasmas in which we inject small particles, and they get highly charged, and they can make complicated structures and phenomena which we investigate. And we have to do it under microgravity because they are falling down to the, to the bottom of our chamber. And uh, therefore we go to uh, parabolic flights or we have also an experiment on the ISS called PK4. Hello, I'm Andreas. I'm a physicist at the University of Gießen and I'm supporting the PK4 project at the ESA parabolic flight campaign 71. Perfect. And it's your first campaign? Yeah, it's my first campaign. So did you fly? Yes, I flied yesterday and today also. And how it was? It was great. Hey, my name is Michael. I'm working as a scientist at the University of Gießen and I'm um, uh, engaged in the, in the PK4 experiment mostly and we are doing here the um, experiments which are also conducted on the ISS at the moment. Perfect. Thank you very much. And this is your computer? Well, these are the data we collect. So the videos of particles inside the plasma. And the plasma is inside this box? This box, yes. Okay, and this is an illustration there. This is Thomas Nimmerfroh and Christian Schinz. They both are engineers and at the University of Gießen and they support our experiment PK4. So I'm responsible for the experiment PK4. PK4 is a dusty plasma experiment which was brought to the ISS in 2014 and it's operated since then on board of the ISS. And here we have a copy of this experiment which we use in parabolic slides, in particular to prepare experiments for the ISS and to do experiments which we cannot do on board of the ISS because on board of the ISS we cannot change the experiment. Here we can change something and do new experiments which we cannot do on board of the ISS. Okay, thank you very much, Marcus, sure. and enjoy your flight. Thank you. chamber and we inject small particles into the plasma and these small particles are getting charged in the plasma and then they can show interesting phenomena uh, for example they can build a crystal or they can uh, build string-like structures or other structures they can flow in here uh, and we uh, investigate the behavior of these particles as a model for other partic uh, particle systems in physics Okay. Because in, usually in physics you cannot observe the atoms, the atoms on the level of the individual particles, but here we can do it. So we can simulate how an atomic system behaves and we can understand more how for example phase transitions will happen and things like this. Yeah. How are you Marcus? Fine, everything's fine. Everything works? Experiment is running. What you, what you will see next is uh, small white dots on the screen. These are our microparticles. They are illuminated by a laser and this will be recorded by a camera. And you will see how they move and we will stop them by a temperature gradient. And then we inject another cloud. And we want to see how the clouds penetrate each other. Okay. That's the purpose of this experiment. 